Coach Vigi Watson here from Watson Wellness. I have one of my best friends, Danielle, here helping me out today. She came to visit. We were going to work out, and I was like, let's film it. <laughs> Lucky her. We're going to be doing a mini band workout today, so make sure that you have your mini bands in front of you. If you have varied tensions, keep them out because you'll probably switch it up. We're going to start with our warm up. Let's get moving. Big arm circles. <laughs> You're going to be the strong, like, silent type today. <laughs> Good. You'll see Danielle and I will do a couple different variations of levels so you can follow along which one suits you best, which is great. Let's reverse that arm circle going back the other way. Good. <clears throat> you want to make sure your space is clear. You can see I'm just working out in my living room, so you don't need a big space. You just need a clear space. Good. Take those arms. You're going to open wide. Little chest opener. Good. You can change up which hands goes on the top. Awesome. From here, you're going to lift one knee up, go out and around as if you're stepping over a sleeping dog. Okay, so hip openers. We sit in tight bodies. Good to move those hips. <laughs> Good. Beautiful. Now let's reverse it, go the other way. So you're going to go outside to inside now. I'll show you this way so you can see. We're going outside to inside. Okay. Our hip is a ball and socket joint, meaning it should be able to have a lot of movement to it in all directions. Good, excellent. From here, you start to take your hands up behind your ears and you go elbow to opposite knee. Just warming up that core, getting a little bit of rotational twist in, keeping your body tall. Good. Excellent. From here, one of my favorite kind of warm up ones, you're gonna stick one foot out, you're gonna reach the sky and then just like brush off the dirt. Okay, so it's legs, reach for the sky, brush off the dirt. So you're planting your heel and then just kind of working down the leg. You should feel that stretch to the back hamstrings. Good, let's do one more on each side. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's prep our squat a little bit. So you're going to start with feet shoulder width apart, toes slightly flared out. You're going to make yourself about a centimeter taller. You're going to unlock your knees and then you're going to send your hips down and back. Okay. Coming in between your knees evenly. Then you're going to stand it up. Now your squat might only go to here and that's okay. Let's try five. Okay. Full stand at the top. You want to watch in your squat that your knees are not buckling in and they're not buckling way out. Keep your feet flat. Okay, knees apart. Good. I lost count already. One more. <laughs> Terrible counter. Excellent. From here, I want you to practice a tap back. So you're going to just tap your foot back. Okay? Tap your foot back. You're going to see these movements in our workout today, so that's why we're kind of prepping them. Okay, little tap back. You're just like the perfect demo girl. <laughs> I'm going to have to keep you, Daniel. Good. Excellent. Beautiful. Last thing, you're going to take your hands up in a high position. Okay. When you're in this position, feet are about hip width apart, knees are unlocked, and you're going to brace through your core, meaning you're going to tuck your rib cage as if someone was punching you in the gut. Okay. From here, you're going to just pull down into a W. Okay. So it's a V or an I position to a W. Okay. The elbows are coming right along our sides. You're going to see a version of this in our workout today. Good. Your body should be starting to feel warm. I feel warm. I feel warm. <laughs> Good. All right. Today we're doing a five by three, meaning we have five movements. We're going to do three rounds of them. We're going to work for 35 seconds on, and you'll have 15 seconds in between. I want you to pick a pretty heavy tension to start for some of the lower body work. So I have my heaviest band. You could pick something heavy or in the middle, or if you're a newbie, then go light, okay? So we want the band just above your knees. We're going to be doing a squat with a leg raise, okay? So it look like, looks like this. That's option two, I should say. So option one is just the squat. Option two is to add that little lift, okay? So we're going to work for 35 seconds. Are you ready? Yes. All right. We're starting. We're starting. All right, ready? In three, two, oh, hold on, pause. 
I put my do not disturb on and now it's not going to let me do the sound. Hold on. Momentary fix. <laughs> Make sure you have water close by. That will be helpful. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. All right. Now we've got it. Let's restart that timer. All right, guys. We're starting in five seconds. All right. Squat it out. Here we go. Feet are shoulder width apart. Toes are slightly flared out. Okay. Driving those knees apart. You can go slower. You could also sit to a couch or a chair. Okay, you can kind of see that on the side there a little bit. 35 seconds of squat. If you want to take up, an, up a notch, you start to add that little kick to the side. Good. 10 seconds. Don't worry about keeping pace with Danielle or I. You do you. Do it at your pace in your own space. Rest. Keep that band on. We're gonna be going for tap backs. It looks like this. You're just gonna tap your foot back, okay? If you wanna make that harder, I'm gonna show you the mod up in just a second. Start with your feet together. Ready, set, go. Okay, you can add a little arm reach. Good, if you wanna make this harder, split your feet, jump switch. Okay, that is an option. <laughs> Keep going, Danielle. Good. There we go. Or stick with the taps. Excellent. 10 seconds. Working it through. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax. We're doing a fencer walk. Start at the back of your mat. You're going to be doing a zigzag step. Okay? Just a slight angle. Moving it forward for whatever space you have, and then moving it back, okay? Ready, let's go. Okay, so you're in almost like a little tiny baby squat. Knees are bent, good. Working it at your pace, that's it. You should start to feel that heat coming through those outer hips, glute area. Whew, I feel that. If that felt like too much, this is where you could change your band tension. A little bit lighter or a little bit harder if you don't feel it. Okay, this is a fencer walk. Three, two, one, rest. Slip that band off real quick. We're gonna do a lat pull down. Take that band, hold that end to end, hands up tall, okay? And your abs tight, you're gonna drive the elbow down. Drive down, ready? Here we go. Think about dropping your shoulders away from your ears. Knees are unlocked. Abdominals are tight as if you're ready to take a punch to the gut, okay? We don't wanna be locked out through the knees and we don't wanna have our ribs flared. Tuck that rib cage, soften those knees. Drive that elbow down. We're targeting the muscles through our upper back. Great for posture. Good, 10 seconds. Breathing. Don't overthink your breathing. You start to work hard enough, it'll happen naturally. Good, excellent. Lunge, pull apart. Hand, band around the wrist. We're gonna do a reverse lunge, but you could go forward as well, but let's start with reverse today. You're gonna step back and lunge, stand up, pull apart. Okay, alternating legs, just like so. Good, now in that lunge, you wanna think about as if you were taking that knee down to take a knee. You are looking for 90 degrees in this front knee, 90 degrees in the back knee, okay? If you can't get down to the ground, that's okay. Just go to the level that's right for you. Again, if this feels too hard, go to a lighter band. Breathing. Eight seconds. Looking good. And rest. Back to our squat. Band on. If you need to hit pause to get that band on, that's okay. Just pause me, time me. <laughs> okay, we're going for a squat again. Ready? Feet shoulder width apart, toes flared, chest up. Here we go. Squat it and stand. Good. If you wanted to make this harder, okay, so we're at level one. Level two is that little leg lift. Level three is a little squat jump. Whoo, that gets spicy. You can just kind of like mix and match. Just pick your own adventure workout. Good, 10 seconds. 
doing so well, Danielle. She's in like focus mode. I love it. I love working out with Danielle. Good. Excellent. Tap backs. That's these guys. The little little glute fire spot. What do you call these? Do you remember? Them? It's okay. We'll come up with random names for them along the way. Chest up nice and tall. Okay. Tap back. Tap back. Higher level. Go to the jump switch. You got it. Beautiful. Love it. Breathe. 20 seconds, stay with it. That's it, pick your level. Work at the one that's right for you. Good, keeping that front heel down. Nice flat supported foot. Five seconds, stay with it. Rest, fencer walk. Nicely done. Oh, fencer walk. Okay, that's this guy, it's a little zigzag walk. All right, if you wanna change it up, Take that band and put it around your um, mid shin instead. It'll change it slightly. Okay. Oh, that feels terrible. <laughs> oh, snap. Forward and back. You got it. Oh, you should be feeling it. If not, you need to be on a higher tension band. Okay. Oh, wow. You can see our feet never fully come right back together. There's a little bit of a gap. 10 seconds, hang in there. Three, two, one, rest. <sighs> Loud hold down, take that band up to your hands. Again, hit pause if you need to, if you need a little bit more time to get in and out of the band, totally fine. Okay, holding that band up top, drive that elbow down, here we go. Knees are unlocked, rib cage is tucked, you're not Flaring out, showing the world like a Care Bear stare. Okay, tuck that tummy in. Good. I encourage you, these are big muscle groups we're working here. If you can, work to medium or high tension. Okay, unless you've got shoulder issues, then stick with a lighter band. Good, drop the shoulders away from the ears. You've got it. You could do this from seated as well. Sometimes I've even done it from kneeling. Kind of takes away any swing through the hips. Beautiful, lunge and pull apart. Band goes around your wrist. I'm gonna switch to one slightly lighter. Okay, shoulders down and back. Beautiful, we're gonna be lunging it. Stand up, pull apart, here we go. Okay, if you need a little lower option, don't go as low in your lunge, just do that. Step back, pull apart. Step back, pull apart. Okay, if your knees are not having that deep lunge, don't do it. Give yourself time to build that strength. Got it. Looking strong here, guys. This is so good for that posture and balance, lower body strength. Beauty, love it. Oh goodness, third set. Third set. Back to squats, here we go. Heavier band if you can. Pause me if you need extra time to put the band on, okay? Band above those knees. Ready? Face shoulder width apart. Toes slightly flared. Get yourself tall through that spine. Engage as if you're getting ready to be punched, okay? People get hurt when they lack bracing through that midsection. If you wanted to, you could add a little heel raise. That's a great option. You could add that side kick like we did before. You could go to jump squat. Notice if you're jump squatting, you gotta keep that band apart still. Three, two, one. Tap backs. All right, standing tall. It's just this or that jump switch. So split your feet, fire it. Ready? Here we go. Good. That's it. Keep in mind, it's a fairly narrow kind of jump switch. You're probably doing more like a scissor jump. If you start to get into a deeper lunge, you can hear your band might start to roll a bit more on you. If you're okay with that, you can work it. 
Good. Nice job, guys. Stay with it. Five seconds. Speed it up if you can. Tap, tap, rest. Feds or walk. Ooh. Nice and done. All right, this is this guy. Side to side step, right? Moving it forward, moving it back. Set those shoulders down and back. Posture your toe. Again, if you wanted to change it up, take that band mid, mid shin. It's gonna change it up for you a little bit. If you deal with your band rolling a lot or moving, it means you're taking tension off. Ideally, you wanna keep your band, start with it flat, end with it flat, and watch that you keep maintain tension. Okay, if I lose the tension, it loosens up and that's where it has the opportunity to start to roll a little bit more. I know sometimes that really bugs people when they're doing mini band work. Whew. Wow, lap pull down, grab that band, bring it up. Again, this is a big muscle group. This is our final set of this guy, so if you can go a little heavier, do it. Okay, hands up tall, grab that band. Knee soft, drive the elbow down. What's that, Hunger Games? Katniss? I always seem to feel like, like I'm very Hunger Games like when I'm doing this one. Girl. Yeah. You can see we're driving that elbow back. You're working through that upper back. You got it. Beautiful. Again, if you wanted to try it kneeling, you can see driving that elbow down and back. Drop those ears, shoulders down away from those ears. Abs tight. Beautiful, lunge and pull apart. Whew. Again, switch out bands as needed. All right, we're doing a reverse lunge. Shoulders down and back. Chest up nice and tall. Start with tension on your band. Don't be loosey-goosey. Tension, here we go. Lunge it, pull apart. You keep tension the whole time. Good, beautiful. Now, if we were doing another round, I'd make Danielle pick up a heavier band for this one. <laughs> and you can tell that because she's stretching it really far, right? She's got a lot of movement through that band. So, being the nice friend that I am, I'd say, Danielle, pick up the next level. Maybe that's you. Whew. And rest. Oh, oh. oh, that was so much fun. All right, we're going to cool it down real quick. Oh boy, pick that band off, grab a sip of water if you need to pause for a second, feel free. But you're gonna to start to roll those shoulders back here. Okay, rolling those shoulders back. Deep breath in and out. Oh boy, wasn't that fun? It was fun, <laughs> I had a great time. <laughs> All right ladies and gentlemen, you're gonna take long lunge stance. Front knee is bent, back heel is down. I'm gonna to go totally sideways, Danielle can show the front view. Okay, chest up nice and tall, back heel is flat. Can't quite see mine, but that's okay. Just hold for a second here, okay? From here, take one arm across your body, make a stop sign, and just hug it in. Yep, you got it. Beautiful, okay? Just holding, deep breaths in through your nose, up through your mouth. Beautiful. Okay, relax that arm. Let's switch those feet. Okay, back heel is flat, front knee is bent. Shoulders down and back. So you're in kind of a nice long lunge stance. Hopefully you remember which arm you just did. Take that other arm across, make that stop sign, hug that stop sign in, and hold. Good. I love band work because it really targets all those little muscles. It makes the big ones work, but it really causes us to a lot of bracing and a lot of those smaller muscle groups that sometimes get ignored. Good, beautiful. Take those feet wide, okay? So you're gonna take those feet wide apart, roll those shoulders down and back. You're gonna sit your bum back, you're gonna side lunge it, okay? Then if you can, reach down with that opposite hand and reach up, so you should be able to see the bent leg. So Danielle, I'm actually gonna switch your hands. This way? Yep, shift to that leg. Yep, mm -hmm. this hand down. Mm -hmm. Nail it, beautiful. Just so you can see that bent knee. So you should feel stretch that inner thigh, get a nice little rotation. If that's too much, just come up and hold that stretch through the legs. That's okay. Good. 
Coming back, let's switch sides. Side lunge the other way. Okay, again, you wanna see that front knee reaching down, reaching up. Good, hold. Deep breaths in through your nose, up through your mouth. Come back to the middle, reach down. Unlock your knees, but just hang down to the point that you feel comfortable with. Relax your head, just soften the knees. Gently exhale as you roll up, breathing out. Roll those shoulders back. Whew. You can put your fingertips on your shoulders. Okay, you're gonna bring your elbows together. You're rounding out that upper back a little bit. And then you're gonna fire those elbows up, up, up towards the sky until they get right up. And then open up, big shoulder chest opener. Nice one. nice one, I know, I love it. Elbows together, little round up through the upper back. Okay, you're gonna start to take those elbows up to the sky until they're pointing upwards to the sky. Around and down. Now let's see if we can reverse that. <laughs> this one makes my brain think. Okay, you're gonna round it out. Now you're gonna go open up a little bit through the chest, okay? You're gonna open to the back all the way around, elbows up. And then come back down together. Good, one more time. Open it up. I feel like I want to call these angel wings. That works. Works. I think, it, I think that works. Elbows up. Back down together. Beautiful. Give me a shake through those wrists. Give me a shake through those ankles for a second there. Ankle, wrist mobility are huge in our health. They help us move well. Good. From here, bring the shoulders up. Drop them down. Okay, you're gonna reach your fingertips towards the floor. Drop your ear to one side. And as you are dropping this head down, take that opposite hand, start to stop sign it, flex it. Feel that stretch to the side of your neck. Try to relax your rear end. If you're clenching like mad, just relax a little bit. <laughs> Good, come back to the middle. Again, lift your shoulders up. Drop them down. Okay, drop your ear the opposite direction. Start to reach those fingertips down and then that opposite hand, start to flex it, stop sign it. Really elongating through that neck and shoulder. Good. Breathing up. Excellent, coming on up, take a deep breath in. Breathe out. One more time, breathe in. And breathe out. And give yourself a pat on the back. Nailed it, nailed it. Thank you, Danielle. Thank you, Vanjie. Thanks guys for joining me. Check out, make sure you uh, like my channel, subscribe so that you can follow along. Take care guys.